What's the deal? It's the big homie, Son of Rose. Fuck with Forever ENT. Let's welcome to my hood. Hey, nigga, I'm the son of God. Son of B-Boys, son of Rose. Back in school, we had to tuck our clothes. Now we tuck them pose, duck the pose. I walk down the wrong block and I'm a ghost. See a bitch, I'ma get down on her like I propose. Let it ring. That's what it sound like when thugs. All right, what's the deal? This welcome to my hood, nigga, look. Right now, we on Dexter and, uh, and Glenn right now. This is the first neighborhood my family moved in. Uh, when we left the number streets my, my family originally from the numbers my whole block my whole family from 23rd you feel me it's the first hood we moved into when we left off from over there right now we on uh glenn and mcquay that's where my old crib used to be at right there in this fucking empty spot one one of many you feel me ain't shit over here no more damn near all my childhood friends peoples and all that type of shit whatever though see people done got that shit towed down too but yeah, we used to have a little uh, small ass crib right here. I remember we moved over here like right after Christmas, 2004. New Year's Day, I think we finished uh, moving our shit in. And it was a family staying in uh, a little four family flat down there at the end of the block, you feel me? First day we moved over here, had a whole little family brawl, beat they ass, motherfuckers got cut up. On my song, uh, Damn, I had a song called Rob the Dope Man. I had a line about uh, moving niggas' whole family off the block. That's exactly how a nigga started fucking with us over here, you feel? Hey, we done moved niggas' whole family off the block. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Police come through, don't you run my daddy off the block. Yeah, yeah. Going in it, you would think my mama had me on the block. Can't yeah, wait till the day I say I bought a Grammy to the block. I mean, niggas start, niggas talked about that little incident, you feel me? We gained some respect from niggas. First day on the block, move some niggas off this bitch, you feel me? It was hella hoes on the block, you feel me? I remember the first little bitch I was fucking with over here, he used to stay down in that uh, four family flat down there, the yellow one. She just passed away recently too, R.P. Tiffany, you feel me? But shit, I think niggas stayed over here when I was like, had to be like eight years old when niggas moved over here, you feel me? Like I said, we originally from the numbers, but niggas so young, I didn't really know what was going on until I got up here and see, started seeing shit happen, being outside every day, you feel me? I remember the uh, the niggas was rolling down the block. Niggas used to have a little basketball rim in front of their crib, you feel me? Niggas used to have $5 shots. When niggas had cheese going, niggas used to have $100 shots, you feel me? I remember we used to be down there hooping just to keep us away from the madness in front of the trap, nigga. They, they let us have their basketball rim. They moved it down here in front of our shit. Feel me, niggas used to be out sh outside our shit, rolling, shooting dice, feel me, shooting shots, all type of shit. Niggas ain't had no curfew, so we was outside with them, watching them motherfuckers all day. Cause as far as we knew, that's that's the best option we had, nigga. Our 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 future was right in front of us, as, from what we thought. Feel me, but shit, it's a little flat over here. My nigga Ryan used to stay in them bitches. That was like my little best friend. You feel me? When we stayed over here. Him, he, he had all sisters, you feel me? So that nigga used to come outside, fuck with me every day, playing football in the field, you feel me? Hooping and shit. That's what kind of got me into the sports. The little nigga, he from Highland Park, nigga used to play for the Jets. He used to talk about that shit all the time. That kind of made me want to get on the field and fuck with it a little bit, you feel me? Oh yeah, this right here, this Brady Elementary. This the uh, elementary school, pretty much the whole hood went to over here, you feel me? This motherfucker on Joy Road, Lawton, you feel me? I think I went here from like, third to fifth grade you feel me before this motherfucker just got real bad and they tore it down then motherfuckers had to go damn near on dexter and davidson like elmhurst damn near and i went to the school called uh bernie but this motherfucker it really went down that like you you'll be surprised this motherfucker was an elementary school you feel me to where it was fights to this motherfucker every day niggas really started learning how to hit licks up at this motherfucker like one of the first little shits that we niggas was doing I remember the school was closed in the summertime. Motherfuckers still have a summer school, but at night, motherfuckers broke into school, stole all the complete, uh, stole all the uh, computers out this bitch. You feel me? It was just bad. Niggas was getting fights every day. I ain't gonna lie. This school damn near turned me into a little monster, bro. Like, I, I think I was good before I went here. Motherfuckers is just on your ass. Like, motherfuckers talking about y'all. Told you we was fucked up. So, told y'all we was fucked up. So, coming to this motherfucker was no. No remorse. Getting bullied turned me into a bully in this motherfucker, I remember. And I was a big ass fourth grader. I used to just be putting it on motherfuckers, you feel me? But shit. 
I remember it was a uh, it was a park right here, connected to the school. Feel me? And told this motherfucker down, nah, nah, just like they pretty much doing everything over here. But shit, we don't have family fights. With this motherfucker, motherfuckers used to come up to the park for pretty much anything. Feel me? School. Yeah, the uh, the little school over there. I don't know what that bitch was for. It was probably a shed or or something. I don't, I don't remember them, they, them having no classes in that motherfucker. But motherfuckers used to flip off the school. Just bad as hell, never going home. Niggas used to get out of school and really hang up this bitch until it got dark, you feel me? But, um, yeah, motherfuckers used to fight over here about a, about a little building. They ain't had no security. They needed it, even though motherfuckers was really only like 10 years old going to this motherfucker. But yeah, it's, the only, it's the only little elementary school we had in this hood. And then when this motherfucker shut down, motherfuckers had to start going to the schools on Linwood, you feel me? See, I ended up going to the school called Bernie Down Dexter on, uh, I think Elmhurst or some shit like that, like further down, but that motherfucker really wasn't cracking like this one, you feel me? It was still in the hood. And it, it, it was damn near worse because cause it was kids from other hoods forced to go to one school, but this was our shit, you feel me? So niggas really used to act up in this bitch. Hell yeah. This motherfucker right here bring back so many memories, you feel me? Like I said, we stayed in the basement of this motherfucker. I remember I had a little girlfriend that stayed in the motherfucking first floor. Was my baby all summer, you feel me? School start, we go over there to Brady. Bitch was in a little slow class, you feel me? Shit kind of fucked me up a little bit, but yeah, I ain't gonna lie, I started writing raps when I was living here, feel me? Niggas really went from, from trading Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh cards in this building with the homies to like, when we really started exploring the whole hood and getting into shit, this shit changed us, you feel me? Niggas was damn near innocent when we moved over here. But shit, just the motherfuckers that was in the building, I remember on our on our floor, it was like an old war vet. This nigga, this older nigga named Lonnie that used to stay on our floor, bro. You would think the nigga homeless if you seen him, but he had an apartment in this motherfucker. He used to have a whole flow stinking, you feel me, to where... Niggas ain't really wanna have company cause they gotta walk past that nigga apartment to get to ours and that shit is just be foul as hell, you feel me? That shit crazy to see this bitch still standing though. It's like nothing left to take y'all to around this motherfucker, you feel me? It's a it's a coney around the corner that niggas used to go to every time niggas scraped up the little change, you feel me? Cause they had that five dollar uh cheeseburger deluxe. Me and little bro used to split that motherfucker. Niggas used to scrape up everything they could. I remember my sister. I don't know if she was talking to the fucking ice cream man or something, this motherfucker. I remember we came out one day, there's an ice cream truck parked in front of this motherfucker. Niggas ramshacked this motherfucking truck. Niggas took all the ice cream. Niggas had dry ice for days, you feel me? Niggas didn't even know what to do with dry ice. It was doing dumbass challenges back then, like motherfuckers was giving themselves permanent scars with the shit, you feel me? But it's just so many memories in this motherfucker, bro. Like, I seen a gun for the first time in this motherfucker, bro. My pops had an old ass 38. That motherfucker was under a pile of clothes. I remember I discovered that bitch. I thought it was a little cowboy gun, you feel me? That was before Big Bro put me hips, all that shit, but yeah, just crazy. I wish we could go in this motherfucker, but you know, motherfucker still living in it and shit like that. Um, let me see. They had a little Jehovah Witness little temple next to this motherfucker. All the hoes that stayed in the building just so happened to be a uh, uh, Jehovah Witness. They used to try to get me to go on little, what you call that shit, the little door to door service with them. Feel me? I was trying to fuck, so I damn near would have did anything. Feel me? But yeah, that shit crazy. That shit wild seeing this shit again, folks. Niggas ain't been over here in so long. It's just so much shit going on in this hood, and then. Shit got bad for niggas. Niggas had to get up, get the fuck off from over here, you feel me? And I'm glad niggas did, because niggas done prosper way past than, than if we ever stayed over here, you feel me, for the long haul. But shit, it's the roots. Niggas always got to come back to the roots. What's beef? Beef is when you got to ride around with all your heat. Either you gon' run into the ops to the police. Beef is when I see you, guaranteed to be an ICU. Like, niggas throw slick shots, but they...